Visco. Welcome back to our Visco channel. For this video, we will be going to learn on how to configure redundant storage on high emission DVR or MVR. In order to set redundant storage on DVR or MVR, there are a few required items. First, is the DVR or MVR must support at least two HDD slots or above. Second, is the HDD recommend to be at least two or more with the same storage capacity. Before we talk about the benefits of using redundant storage, let's say we are having two HDD in typical scenario. The beginning recording playback will store in the first HDD. And once the first HDD space fully occupied, then it will store the following recording playback in the second HDD. Hence, if either one of the HDD 40 are being taken out, the data storage footage will be lost. However, with redundant storage, both HDD will be read and write at the same time. So if one of the HDD 40 we still have the other HDD as backup purpose. Therefore, it provides therefore it provides a full redundancy and low risk of data loss benefits for redundant storage. But one thing to take note: for redundant storage, only half of the total drive capacity is usable. In this video, we'll be using the S760-8NXI-K1-P nbr and two hdds for demonstration on storage redundancy as for dvr configuration we also have the similar setting interface as nbr okay first of all we will need to first and foremost we need to initialize both hdds in order to fully utilize the hdd maximum storage so we will go to the configuration go to the record and then we select the storage and then we will initialize both HDD. Oh, click OK. And then type the password. And we wait for it, wait for it to initialize. Once both of the HDD already being initialized, then we will need to go to storage mode and then we will need to select the group mode. And then for the HDD group, we select for one and select all the IP channels and then we apply the setting. And then it will reboot. Then we will need to wait for the NVR to reboot the system. After NVR reboot, we can check back the storage mode it will be in group mode already. Then we go to the storage and then we select the particular HDD for backup purpose and then we edit it. Here I will use the second one as our backup. I will click the edit. Then we go and select this backup HDD as redundancy and then we set the group to one and then we click OK. After that, we go to schedule, then we click on the advanced parameter, then we tick on the redundant record or capture, then click OK. Then we can copy the record setting to all the rest of the IP camera, or either you can choose your own camera that you want. Then we apply to all. Then we will wait for 15 minutes for the MVR to record and then we check back the playback. After 15 minutes of recording, we check on the playback. Then to test the backup HDD is also recording, we shut down the MVR and remove the main HDD and check the playback again. And now, as we can see, the main HDD status already not exists. If the HDD is 40, it will show abnormal or not exist in the status. After removal of main HDD, we check back the footage again. 
the previous recording is still available in the redundant HDD as, as we can see from the playback here. That's all for the video. Hope you enjoy and learn something from the video. Thank you. Visco.